Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by Peace Garage. In this video we are going to mount an O2 sensor in the header for a Holley Sniper EFI. Now if you are considering putting an EFI system on your car, there's a few things you want to keep in mind. First of all, you have to find some place to put the O2 sensor. Since this car is going to, this is a, this, this system is going into a uh, 1967 Chevelle with a 540 big block in it. And there's a couple things to keep in mind. If you're going to have straight exhaust that go right from the engine, straight out the back, and you only have one O2 sensor, it's only going to be mounted on one side of the vehicle, which means you're only going to be really adjusting the fuel for one side of the engine, for four of the eight cylinders. If something goes wrong on the other side of the engine, this sensor is not going to know, not unless you have a Y pipe or somehow they're connected. That's number one. Uh, also, horsepower considerations. You have to make sure you buy a system that's big enough to support the horsepower for the engine you're putting it on. Otherwise, you're going to starve it. The next thing, the fuel pump. You're not going to be able to feed this thing with your standard mechanical fuel pump. You're going to have to put an external electrical pump. You can take buy a, buy a pump like this, mounted like, uh, externally mounted to your frame. But if you want to go and get if you want to get quieter, you want to have it as quiet as possible, I recommend getting the in-tank option and get the pump that goes right into the gas tank. It's kind of muffled. It's insulated by, from the tank with some gaskets, and it's a lot quieter. So those are your options and considerations. So let's take a look at the bung, at the header. We'll drill the hole and get it welded. Now for the O2 sensor. When you go to put an EFI, or electronic fuel injection system, on your vehicle, or on your engine, it's always going to require an O2 sensor. If you want to know how an O2 sensor works, you can check it out right here. And an O2 sensor is simply a device, it's an electrical sensor, that senses the amount of uh, gases in the exhaust stream. And the closed loop system, meaning that this system provides information back to a computer, that computer uses that information to adjust the carburetor, the uh, fuel flow, and the air fuel mixture to make sure it's not too lean or too rich. That's all this really does. Now the instructions say the O2 sensor should be mounted in the collector at least 6 to 10 inches behind where it all comes together. Now you can see there really isn't that much room here. So they, oh, it's going to have to go somewhere in this area right here, right, right where the collector is. And you should have also 18 inches of space behind the uh, collector where this mounts into the exhaust system to get a, a proper reading. It also has to be mounted between the collector and a catalytic converter if you have that. That's where it has to be mounted. Now the, there, are, there are some there are a lot of arguments, and I hear a lot of comments about where this thing should be mounted. The instructions say that if there is an existing bung for an O2 sensor, it should be mounted, if this is the, the engine just like this, it should be mounted right on top. But it says if that's not available, and you're going to use the saddle mount with the clamps to mount it on the side. And if you mount it on the side, the directions say that it should be at least 10 degrees off center. Which means if you're looking at the end, here is if you're looking at the end, here we go here, it should be like 10 degrees off center. Now there are other things to take in consideration. Here's a picture of the bottom of the car. You can see that there is not a, enough room there, if I was 10 degrees off center with this, for this O2 sensor to be mounted 10 degrees up because it would be hitting the bottom of the car or hitting the floorboards, which is not good. When you get your system, there's basically two ways to mount your O2 sensor in your exhaust stream. The first one is the strap on kind of um, bung here. And this is just simply a piece of metal with the threads in there for the O2 sensor. We'll go in there just like that. And there's a gasket. So you put the drill a hole for the O2 sensor in your exhaust stream. You would put your gasket down. You would put down this plate on top of it and it's curved so it's shaped like the exhaust pipe. And then you put two clamps on there. One on either side. Clamp this down. And um, then you'd have a spot for your O2 sensor. Or you can use this kind. Uh, this is a bung that is uh, welded on to the exhaust pipe. And you can see it's, it's, it's shaped, got an angle on it, or it's kind of round so that it fits nice and tight against the pipe so you can weld it. This is what we're going to weld on. Here's the collector on our header. If this is our center line coming down the center of the engine, this is zero degrees, and we have a three and a half inch, three and a half inch collector. How far up do we have to go up this pipe to equal 10 degrees? Let's do some math. <laughs> now we know our collector pipe has a diameter of 3.5 inches. The circumference is going to be 2 pi r, or 
2 times 3.1416 times 3.5 divided by 2, which comes out to multiplying by 1.75. Now if we multiply that out, we get 10.995, roughly 11 inches. 11 inches divided by 360 degrees in a circle is 31 thousandths of an inch for every degree. If we multiply that by 10, which they recommend, it comes out to 0 0.310, and since 5 16 of an inch is 0 0.3125, we'll go 5 16 Now we take our circle, Put a flexible ruler on there, and we go up 1 eighth, 2 eighths, and a 16th. So we know 10 degrees center line is right about there. So there's our center mark. This is where the bung is going to go, right about there. I have my uh, step drill with some tape on there so I don't drill past the 3 quarters of an inch size hole is what we want to drill. Now we can weld it on. Now I just have a tack welded in place, so I'll just weld it all the way around. Now when you're finished welding, don't just screw the O2 sensor into the bung. As you're welding, that bung is going to expand and contract, and the threads inside are going to get all screwed up. So, chase the threads. Most O2 sensors are an 18 millimeter by 1.5 tap, so chase the threads out, get them nice and clean. And when you go to put your O2 sensor in, it'll go in nice and smooth. Now I get asked quite often, how critical is that 10 degrees? How much does this bung really have to be 10 degrees off center? Well, it's, it's off center, usually on the high side, to keep moisture out of the O2 sensor. But, I've put bungs on top. I've actually put them on the bottom third, so maybe negative 30 degrees on either side. Uh, I've put them in different positions, in different locations, and at an angle. Just as long as that O2 sensor is in the, the flow of the exhaust gas, it's going to work properly. So take your time, plan it out, make sure that when you put the header or whatever you're welding into back in the car, it's not going to hit the body, the frame, the rail, uh, the starter any steering linkage, whatever, make sure it's not there because you're going to be really, really frustrated. Fit it up first, pick your location, drill the hole and weld it on, and you'll do fine. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.